bathed in gold circle, in harsh biting wind whipped around Thomas as he stood at the cliff's crumbling edge, looking down into the raging river waters far below. The icy air stung his cheeks, or maybe that was from the tears that kept streaming down no matter how many times he angrily wiped them away. How did he get to this point? He wondered, toes inching closer as the ancient stone gave way under his feet. He never imagined himself climbing this perilous path up the mountain's forsaken face on a night like this, but then again, he never imagined his life unraveling so spectacularly either. The failures had accumulated like gathering clouds until everything went dark. First, Thomas lost his scholarship when an injury sidelined his once promising athletic talents. Then his girlfriend left him, tired of his now bleak prospects and gloom. His family tried to help, but were cutbacks forced them to move to cheaper housing far from anything for me. Feeling lost, Thomas started skipping school and getting mixed up with a dangerous crowd who didn't care where the next drink or pill came from. Still, some small forgotten part of him had recoiled at the gun one of them brandished tonight during a robbery gone wrong. Thomas managed to stumble away unseen after hearing the fateful bang, making his way blindly through unseen terrain until the ground disappeared under his feet. He found himself clinging desperately to an outcropping rock, staring down into roaring nothingness tinged red in the light of the low-hanging moon. Thomas glanced back at the thin, crumbing ledge he now stood upon, his only tenuous lifeline in this wilderness. Maybe if he could inch back carefully, he could... But no, what waited for him there anyway but more pain and disappointment? The cold emptiness below called out to him invitingly, a clean escape from the mess he had made of everything. As icy fingers of air clawed at his shoulders, urging him forward into oblivion, images from better days flickered through Thomas' mind. His teammates cheering his name, his girlfriend's radiant smile. His family gathered around the dinner table. He saw himself as a child dreaming hopefully about the future. Could any part of that wide-eyed boy still remain under the hardened exterior? Did he dare disappoint that child again? Grunting with effort, Thomas fell to his hands and knees. Slowly, painstakingly, he crawled away from the cliff's edge on all fours. The frigid ground bit at his skin as he dragged himself inch by inch towards distant lights, towards life, towards the chance to do right by the people he had let down towards the possibility that maybe his own lost light could glow again someday. With a gasp of relief, Thomas finally collapsed onto blessedly flat land. The gravel dug into his heaving chest as he stared up at the stars peeking through clouds above this precious, imperfect world, a world that he wasn't ready to leave just yet. Shakily, he stood up, took a deep breath of the cutting night air, and began descending the shadowed mountainside step by step. The path looked daunting and unclear. But for the first time in years, a flicker of hope flickered in Thomas's heart. Hope that he could still change direction. Hope that it wasn't too late to cross back from the edge. 